Just finished cutting some plywood uh, for the trays. And this is the fun part right here. Got them sized just enough that they blow it in there. Yeah. Nice. So now I just have to figure out my dividers. How I want, you know, what kind of uh, grid pattern I want here. And then I can start laying this out. This is going to be just about perfect. Stack these on top of one another. I've got two pieces in here. And I think if I make about an eighth inch kerf in both pieces, That'll be just about, just a, just fine. There'll be enough clearance here. They'll settle down in. Maybe don't even have to go an eighth. We'll see. All right, I got my grid pattern cut for the two first uh, jewelry trays. Theoretically, all of these, uh, these five should be the same. And I should be able to cut them all at one time. Now, the way I did the grid, was I worked from the center out so I know this is in the perfect center then these two are identical then these two are identical then these two out here might be a little bit thinner than these two here but uh, if I work from the center out I should end up uh, in good shape starting with this one here first I right, get ready to cut these dividers with the half lap joint and this is my measuring guide so the first thing I want to do is cut the long ones to the exact same length as this and then uh, cut the short ones the exact same width so I've got uh, these in groups of uh, five. I've got two groups here. So I'll do this group first, squaring up this end. And then I've got my stop set to the length of this bottom. So we should be good that way. Put that backer board in there to help eliminate some tear out. because the trays are all the same regardless of how many I use let me do that and then we'll come back after I cut the, all the long and all the short to length all right I got my uh, dividers cut to length the long ones there's some over here you can't see the um, 
short ones, and they're, and they're all kept in groups of whatever I need. So I have similar colors when I go to put these things together. So the next operation is to get my uh, table saw set up to make these kerfs. All right, I've got a fresh made sacrificial fence here. And all I'm doing is I'm taking one of the dividers, putting it in the slot, putting it up to the fence, and then I'm lining up this edge with the outside of the blade. And it's going to be, if, I wanna, if I'm going to error, I want to error uh, having my fence too far over this way. I want the blade to be inside the edge. Uh, and I think I'm right on it all most. I'm using basically this um, zero clearance insert. I can just barely see daylight between this and this edge. I'm going to give that a try right there. I'm going to cut one. This I'm going to keep this as my as my uh, measuring tool, so I can, I'll use it uh, every time, so I get consistent results. Yeah, and it's going to be hopefully a nice fit. To, if it gets a little sloppy, that's when I'm going to be concerned, I guess. So. Uh, long ones. So I'll take this group here, butt them up to the fence, and since I'm not making a through cut, I can get away with using this stop as well to keep it from wandering. Now I want to get about halfway through this this group. So let me get that set up. Now the other thing is this curve cut, if anything, I want it to be a little short. And I'm going to use a couple of these. I'm going to use a couple of these drops first. Let's see where I'm at. See that fit. Looks good. Yeah, that is good. Alright, I like that. Alright, just like I cut these uh, dados in this bottom board, 
I started in the middle and worked my way out. So I've got this set up so that my blade is just about dead center on this. If anything, it might be closer to this edge, but I still think it's inside of it. Jog it just a hair. Okay. That's dead center, I believe. So now I run my I'm gonna run the long ones. Yeah, I'm doing the long ones only now. these is run them and flip them but before I make the cut I'll just eyeball this blade to see if it's going to be right in the middle or if it's going to be just a hair off. Okay let's go there's no time like the present. center, which it is. All right, these are done. All right, after a little finagling, I guess I'll put it that way, everything get it goes together and dry fits. This is just dry fit nicely. Lace, relatively flat, and before I glue this together, and I'm, incidentally, I'm not going to glue these joints in, in here. Only a little bit on the outside, and then I'll put some glue in the uh, grid pattern of the base. And that'll hold it together. And then once it comes together with finish, uh, it's not going to come apart. Now, the um, short pieces of the grid... I had the middle um, half lap that I made got wide, and I'll show you what I mean. You can see this gap. Now, the only place you're really going to notice it is on the outside. So I'll, I'll clean that up. But I also will probably fix the inside gaps as well with just little shims. And I got my grid uh, flipped upside down. I just took a uh, nice thick shaving off a piece of cherry, broke it into pieces, and now I'm just cutting these pieces into little wedges that will fit in here.
a little bit wider than the than the pieces. These are a little thinner. I'm going a long way with these. Got a uh, cut up business card here to kind of put some glue in here. So I think I'll start on this wide side first. Yeah, and drop some chunks in there. Okay. All right, I got this oriented the way I want. I've got a couple of clamping calls ready to go, and my clamps are ready. So pull this up. Fill these grooves. And these little pieces are going to be lined, so I'm not really too concerned about. Too much glue squeeze out. I'm just going to put a little in here, just enough to bind it together. Yeah, I'll get those outside pieces after this has set up. It takes a couple of little love taps to get it seated down in there. Accomplish here is that gluing this flat to the table will keep it flat.
All right, just making sure all the outside edges are down. And they appear to be. Yeah. Okay. That should work. And I got my top four pieces here. And while this is setting up, I'll work on the other grid and get that one uh, ready to go. All right, that one went to together uh, much easier. Usually it's the other way around. You get the easy one first. But I, I'm uh, happy with this fit. Nothing that a little sanding won't take care of. So I've got the sides marked except for these here. This is three. And this is four over here. Okay. Those will be this one will be ready to glue up the grid, the inner grid first, and then I'll put the uh, the outside pieces on. All right, so I'll do this one in the same manner I did the other. Uh, glue the sides up, and I'll come back when they're completed, and we'll sand them up and fit them to the drawer.